When you're talking about enrichment with animals in the zoo, um, they're in a captive environment. We do try to provide them with the best environment we can, physically, mentally, um, to stimulate them, to be able to do things that they might naturally do in the wild, or just to give them things to do during the day. Enrichment can be anything out of the ordinary. Uh, anything such as a new toy, like a ball, a spool. It can also be food items. Most animals, especially the cats and the bears, their primary sense is their sense of smell. They see the world through their nose first, their eyes and ears are secondary. So when they smell something new, especially things like perfumes, uh, colognes, um, the cats and the, the bears as well love these senses of smell. You'll walk through the zoo and you'll see cardboard boxes, you'll see sheets, you'll see different kind of random things that are obviously very human in nature, but when we give it to them, it gives them the chance to interact with them, to tear things apart like they might not be able to do if they were a predator in the wild. We try to do a, a lot of variety, um, some stuff on land, some stuff in the water. One of their favorite things to do in the water is uh, food, obviously. Um, and so we'll, we'll take their, their normal diet and throw that into the water for them. And um, so they have to swim around and gather that up. We also do things on land, like we blow bubbles for them. They like to chase them and pop them. Some of them like to hit, um, actually play balls around. Uh, one of them actually will play almost volleyball with it. He'll hit it back to us. So we just try to give them a, a variety of things for, for enrichment every day. The real purpose of enrichment is to break up the monotony of the day. It gives them something to do and something to look forward to throughout the day.